Who here likes food? I love it. I do. In a vision. That the revolution would not be televised unless, that is, those reality TV show cameras were to come and follow me into my kitchen. So I grabbed some pots and pans and even some red and white checkered oven mitts. Yeah. So I want to show you that I'm really ready to start some shit. You see, I've heard it said it before that laughter and food, remember this, laughter and food are the best ways into a stranger's heart. All right, so where should I start? If you like cheese and chalabas, you might sing, sing something like, I like cheese and chalabas. Crowd participation, people, let's hear it. Yeah, you're saying along, so chances are we'll get along. Warning, this poem, like my enchiladas, is delightfully cheesy. You get it? An effort to try to be funny, but really, I endeavor to make the whole world better by making even the most racist person hungry when they hear this. I want them to feel this poem in their gut. I'll worry about their starving spirit later. But for now, I want you to savor the thought of Las Palmas sauce. Your choice, red or green. I put my corn tortillas into the oil, set them at a little boil, and I could hear them sizzling. Pop, 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 pop. It's music to my ears. At times like this, I think about changing my career. Like, maybe I shouldn't be a poet. Maybe I should be a chef. Ah, but a chef doesn't lose her breath over her food the way that I do. Try to find any excuse to eat my enchiladas before they're even finished. Like, picture this. Who wants to know how to make cheese enchiladas? I do! Yeah! I'll tell you, sir! First of all, you get corn tortillas. None of that flour garbage. Anybody tries to tell you you can make enchiladas with flour tortillas, you say, fuck you. No. Fuck on the border and their fucking limitless plate of bullshit enchiladas. You get corn, corn tortillas. You put them into that oil at a low boil, right? And you get it just that right level of crispiness. But you can't leave them in for too long. You know why? Because you'll make chips. And are we making chips? No! We're making cheese! Hell yes, we are. So we dunk them into the sauce, put some cheese on that shit, roll it up on a tin foil tray, repeat, repeat. Did you get that? Yeah! Woo! Okay, because you'll fuck them up if you try to make them any other way. What can I say? I'm used to a stern voice in the kitchen. My mom used to yell things like, quitate, and ascaso, to get me to listen to her instructions. My mother, mi madre, my enchiladas, I love them. As a matter of fact, I open up that drawer or flick that oven light incessantly. You know how you do that? You just gotta check when you're really hungry. Just, and I watch, weeping tears of joy, like I was watching the bird as they form and melt together in the oven. At 350 degrees at times like these, any girl with me thinks I'm real spiffy. Yeah. And I believe me. As a matter of fact, every girl that I've ever made these cheese enchiladas for has fooled around with or had sex with me. Coincidence, I ask you, or my enchilada making conspiracy? Maybe I was born to play the role of the Latin lover. Maybe I've got some kind of Freudian fucked up thing from my mother. I don't know. What I do know is this. I want a chance to make you all my cheese enchiladas. And with every bite, with every delectable morsel, I want you to remember that you love Mexicans, that you love Latinos. All people making these enchiladas.